Is psoriasis an autoimmune disease? Well, yes it is. Psoriasis is associated with complex abnormalities of the immune system, with inflammatory cells setting up home within the skin and causing a complex reaction, uh, which is of course not normal. So it's the immune system attacking different layers of the skin and forming these flaky pink plaques. And when we say a plaque, we mean a raised, well demarcated surface on the skin, typically on the outside of elbows and knees, behind the ears, in the scalp, uh, sometimes under the breasts or between the buttocks. And that's classic psoriasis. Psoriasis is a common condition and it can range from very mild to very severe. But overall, about a quarter of patients with psoriasis will at some stage experience involvement of the joints. Now, patients with psoriasis can get not only involvement of joints in their pain, but also what we call enthesitis, and that's inflammation where tendons insert onto bone. And that can be things like tennis elbow, pains around the elbow where the tendons insert, pains at the achilles, at the back of the heel, uh, where, again, where the tendon is inserting onto the bone. Another thing which is quite curious that patients with psoriasis can develop is what we call dactylitis, and that's inflammation of a whole digit, of a finger or a toe, and that's inflammation along the tendons that run up and down the finger and up and down the toe. And then, of course, arthritis, which can occur with psoriasis, what we call psoriatic arthritis, which is where there's inflammation of a joint. Actually, it's different to rheumatoid arthritis, typically, because rheumatoid arthritis tends to be symmetrical to involve many knuckles and the wrists. And psoriatic arthritis will often just pick out one joint here and one joint there. One knuckle, maybe a knee, maybe a toe. These things can come and go very slowly. They tend to be swollen and painful and that can last for a couple of weeks or even longer.